Hello and welcome back, lovely Aquarius. Thank you for tuning in. I greatly appreciate all of your likes, your shares, all of your newcoming uh, subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. So Aquarius, I have three of pentacles that shot out, five of pentacles and 10 of wands. You can have Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn in your placement or fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. There's something that's not working out for you. Virgo. I'm saying Virgo. You're dealing with a Virgo. I don't know where I came from. You're definitely dealing with that. It doesn't work for you anymore. The Ten of Wands, Aquarius, is the energy of whether this is a project, okay, an investment. Like you see, there's been writing, skills, magic here, right? The sense of trying to manifest something, trying to work with someone, but you feel like you're working alone. You feel like all the work is on you. You're carrying the burdens. It's like every time this person needs something, you get to the board here and you're the one who's making the money and it's like it's leaving you cold, dry and like emptying your pockets. That kind of an energy I'm feeling, Aquarius. I'm feeling whatever this is, there's a sense of feeling very insecure right now and very worried, financial. There could be financial worries that are taking place right now. The hard work that you're putting in, you're not getting the rewards from, 10 of 1, right? This could be like I felt, feeling far from home for some of you here. But there's a lot of labor, there's a lot of toil, there's a lot of hard work and burdens that have been weighing you down, Aquarius, is what I feel. Dream won't resonate for all of you out there. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. So this is what I see for some of the messages, okay? So we're starting with the Witch's Tarot, but I want to go ahead and get this deck out. Okay, so Aquarius, yeah, it's been a while since I've been here with you. Um, taking pauses out since Cancer season was tough with this Capricorn full moon. So this reading is for Aquarius in love, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I call upon my angels, my guides, my ancestors. The Archangels to assist me with Aquarius bringing in blessings. This card wants to come out. Leo season is going to be an activation portal for you. This is your overall energy. This is where your strength is. You're being very strong right now. Like I feel, you're standing in your integrity right now. This is the energy of becoming, like I feel, struggling. Whatever you struggled from, this is the sense of a strength that comes in with the new moon in Leo to empower you once again, right? So it feels like, and on that same new moon in Leo on the 28th is the time to do the work, to get organized again, to empower your work, right? Wherever this is that you're working on, a partnership, right? Or whatever it is, it's the rocket fuel. Strength card, number eight, love it. Leo season begins on the 23rd, okay? And this is where, like I feel, unexpected love can start to blossom also. King of Swords, right? So there's a sense of somebody here you're dealing with, okay, Aquarius. This is your energy, King of Swords. Being very honest with yourself here, okay? Claiming your power back because you learned a very valuable lesson. You learned what doesn't work for you right? So you're not ready to settle and you're being strong about it, right? I, this is how I see it. I see with the King of Swords here, right? And the Knight of Wands. Somebody keeps coming in and out. They're unreliable. They're not helping. They're not pitching in. They're not meeting you in the middle, whether this is financially, right? You know the truth here already, right? King of Swords. This is somebody that you want to cut out. You want to detach from. You want to break free from this person. They've burdened you. And the Ten of Cups. Okay, somebody here where the both of you have this level of there was happiness here, right? This Ten of Cups is for some of you, you could have a family dynamic or a partnership with this person, live in with them. Ten of Coins, okay? And there you go, Star Card. You had hope, okay? You took a leap of faith, full card, Aries, energy, right? And you went after somebody here that is quite good looking, quite charming, right? King of Wands, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. Like I said, you went for it. No stopping you, right? No stopping you. Aquarius, that's you. 
double Aquarius with Uranus, your ruler, and the king of wands, ambitious, right? Ready to go, determined to do what you got to do, ready for that leap of faith, taking a huge leap of faith with someone here. And it feels like this someone here, okay, that you had a lot of hope in, like, right? Feeling very powerful is what I feel with the strength card. You're coming up, okay? In love, wow, in love. Unstoppable energy here, driven, passionate about where you're headed here. So it feels like stop for nothing. You're, you're in this energy here of Leo season is about to activate you. This could be starting your own business, okay? Uh, this could be starting an adventure where you're very innovative. There's a new idea that's coming in, okay? Yeah, the hair is everywhere. And then there's a king of cups right there, okay? And the page of pentacles. Well, you're going to get a message from a water sign. Oh, and the five of swords, yeah. So, Aquarius, there's going to be this water sign that could be reaching out to you. This could be a father figure with the Five of Swords. Oh, they're feeling very conflicted about what's going on and where you're headed, right? Somebody here, you had conflict with Queen of Wands, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, third party situation. block this person. Yeah, the Knight of Wands, there was somebody here, okay, Two of Cups, was very confused whether or not this was a soul bond, right? Soulmate, Two of Cups. You had a deep bond with somebody here that was in and out of your life, Aquarius, okay? And now there's a sense of somebody here is feeling very um, defensive. Somebody's putting up their guard. Somebody's blocking a connection here. Somebody's feeling very burned out, ten of wands, very abandoned, very left out in the cold. It's not working out, right? And yet there's conflict. Somebody here wants a fight to win it all, right? And there's no one that wins with the five of swords. The five of swords is a sense of God wins in the end. It's a kind of a battle that's going on here, right? So there's some kind of a third party dynamic that's going on that you're involved in, right? Especially with the King of Wands here, and the Fire Sign. Okay, you got definitely, and then you got a King of Swords on this side. See what I'm saying? So, you're in a place right now, Aquarius, where you want something passionate. You want something new. You're 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 done with the old routine of bringing in and and putting too much work into somebody here that that's just playing around with you. That's where you feel. But yet there's fire passion yes they're unreliable so you're going in a new direction for sure you're headed in a new direction <laughs> watch out white watch out world because here goes aquarius and you're clear about it you're cutting somebody out here that that, that you felt very played by absolutely and this is what i see for you yeah so and that ten of cups there was a mouse in that card a cat and mouse game Somebody here was like, I feel the runner and the chaser kind of an energy. You'd run, they chase you, right? And now you're stronger, Aquarius, than that. And now you have this breakthrough that's coming in on your end. This is a big breakthrough, okay? And I feel this is your energy. So let's see what's surrounding you in love. What's coming towards Aquarius in love. From July 20th through, look at this, Seven of Pentacles. You do have an earth sign, Verbal, Taurus, Capricorn. This person is planning something, okay, that's coming towards you. They're thinking about this connection for sure. They're invested, yeah, but they're thinking about a plan, right? They've been waiting. Somebody here is waiting. They're taking a pause, okay? They're reevaluating the situation with you, Aquarius. Okay, this is somebody, let's see, what's coming towards Aquarius and surrounding Aquarius in love. Ace of Swords, within one day, you should hear from this person. Um, they could have Earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Ace of Swords, they could have Air in their chart, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, 
the will of the fortunes, Jupiter. So it's something here that's a fated event, right? There's a turning point for this person that they're making. Somebody's coming in to communicate with you. They're coming in to talk to you, right? This is somebody who has mental clarity. They've thought about this already, right? This is somebody who's very hardworking, determined, right? They have this level of seven of pentacles. Oh, they know when they have a vision and they're having a vision. There's a vision. They're having a prophetic vision about you, Aquarius, right? Someone's coming back around here that wants to work on this partnership, three of pentacles, okay? This is someone here that sees the fulfillment. They see the destiny. They can see clearly the path now. They've been thinking about you for quite some time. And this is somebody that wants to come in. But this somebody had devil energy, king of pentacles. Is this the energy of somebody here that likes to keep up with the Jones King of Coins that's coming at you, Devil Energy, Heavy Capricorn? Um, this is somebody who's very hardworking, but they're obsessed over you. Somebody's very obsessed and Ten of Coins. They're very wealthy, right? They could do it on their own. They're somebody who's very um, secure, right? But there's somebody here with, with the Devil Energy, right? Could be um, a sense of overworking, addictions, or um, controlling, very controlling energy. Three of Pentacles. They're coming in. Yeah. Hierophant, Venus, and Taurus. And they want to talk to you, for sure. Okay. So let's see. And now Jupiter is going to go retrograde at the end of this month here. And it's going to require your person that's coming in, Aquarius, to put the work in. Oh, yeah. Jupiter is like, it's it's time for this person that's coming in, Aquarius, to get organized. And that's going to be like, I feel this Ace of Swords is a turning point that this person that's coming in is having. Okay? Devil energy. There is a sense of them feeling this bondage with you, King of Coins. This could be somebody that was married to you, partnership with you, uh, King of Coins. Somebody, like I feel, very wealthy, right? Somebody who, Aquarius, okay, has a family business, a family dynamic, a commitment, where they're, they're definitely a devil energy, control, uh, materialism, your person, very um, Saturn energy, rules time, okay? So, Page of Wands is at the bottom here. Hmm. Let's see. You got another page here, so <clears throat> Aquarius. We got a Taurus here. Let's see what's going on, what's coming in in love, okay? Let's clarify. Let's clarify with the Epiphany. Show me what the epiphany is here with the Ace of Swords. What's coming in? The truth is coming in from someone. The only king that's not here is the King of Cups. So, there's a sense for healing. There's a sense of Someone here is not opening up about their emotions. What does the Ace of Swords have coming in? Epiphany for Aquarius. Yeah, ready to take control and leave. Yeah, you do have somebody, boots on the ground like I was feeling. Somebody that thought about this really through thoroughly. And now they're ready to come in and take the lead. Ace of Swords. This person sees victory with you. They have a clear path, right? Seeing, but seeing with the devil energy could be the restrictions, the codependency that they am being imposed, right? Feeling stuck. So the devil energy, show me. Yeah, hidden desires. Okay, hidden intention. There was something about them, okay, that this person had was, this could have been controlling a toxic behavior, right? Addictions, dark energy, um, 
stuck, restrained, limited. Yeah, yeah, they had a lot of devil energy. Bad decisions this person made, right? Addictions, the bad choice, the decisions. It's not your typical love story, right? You have a so tie with this person. Now they're feeling powerless. The power struggle is real short as devil energy, right? And the truth is rising now from your person. Like I feel this is a, a, a reality check that's coming in from them. Now there's a deep spiritual awakening underway, right? Someone's waking up, they're realizing something about losing you, right? And this is somebody that you had a toxic connection with, is what I'm feeling here, okay? And the truth will set you free. Yeah. So, there's definitely the truth is being exposed. Hmm. Who's this King of Pentacles? Who's the King of Pentacles coming for Aquarius, right? In love. Ace of Wands, yep. Very passionate, deep bond with this person. This person has also, like I feel, a deep sexual energy. Their strength is in the King of Pentacles. This is someone who feels that they can definitely take the lead with you when they're coming in. Someone that wants to get the job done right. They have the Ace of Wands, a lot of passion for you. There's a strong desire with sexuality with them, right? Very strong desire sexually, for sure. Okay. And at the bottom, Six of Swords. This could be somebody that wants to heal, move forward, and come back, right? Definitely a sense of that. Where's my um? Okay. So let's see. What is this person's intentions with the King of Pentacles? They're trying to overcome the obstacle, right? They're the King of Wands. Okay. So you have somebody here that wants to be more than friends with benefits. They want to be King of Pentacles now. This is somebody that you felt was playing, yeah, right? You got the player energy. Someone that was in and out of your life, they want to come back. They're very driven, like I feel here. This is somebody here that will stop for nothing to come back. So they're definitely returning to you. Right now, things are on hold during hangman stage. Yeah, this person here needed to make a sacrifice. And they needed to make a sacrifice. And they needed to, like I feel, level up. And now this person's coming in to level up. They're getting ready, like I feel, to let go of something so that they could come towards you. Okay, so what's the Ace of Swords? Air, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Could be like you. They're the King of Cups and Chariot. There you go. There's the water. There's the King of Cups. All four kings. So you embody, you and your person, there's a sense of you've mastered a lesson, a karmic lesson. That Ace of Swords is your victory. It's your new direction. This person has a new direction. They're headed towards you, for sure. This is someone who wants to take control. Like I said, it's right next to the Seven of Coins, see? And the Ace of Swords, they have that eagle's eye, right? They can see clearly that they're in love with you. This is someone who's coming in, like I feel Aquarius, towards you very quickly. Someone here could be getting a brand new car. Someone that's ready, boots on the ground, to take control of the situation. Bottom line, they're determined. They know the direction forward. This is, could be a father figure for some of you. It's a masculine energy, King of Cups. Someone who's ready to bring in balance. Take control. Be generous. Be loving. Be real. Someone who wants a foundation with you is what I feel, Aquarius. King of Cups, Libra energy. So you could be dealing with a Libra. Like I said, where they want what's fair. They want to balance the scales. They're coming in with the truth. True love, Ace of Swords, Aquarius. This person that's coming at you. And the will of fortune's backing them up. 
They're ready to put the work in that's required for the next six months. This Jupiter retrograde is going to take us, like I feel, healing um, a karmic cycle right now, being balanced in a new relationship, a new beginning, right? And also with that Jupiter, it's going to require that the relationships get organized, move forward, where, like I feel, working together, collaborating, okay? Somebody wants to do this. What is this will of fortune? Yeah, destiny is playing out. A turning point is here. The king of coins. You have options, two of coins and seven of one. You're feeling very defensive with somebody that you are either in a relationship, a marriage, a partnership. This king of coins is the one that I feel was very inconsistent at one time with you. That's also coming around. So Aquarius, there's more than one person here. This is somebody that I feel you're blocking, seven of wands, right? You feel blocked in my mind, you're defending yourself. There's a challenge between this person, a power play, devil energy, right? And they're starting to just wake up, Aquarius, is what I feel. And I feel you've got the strength card here, right? For a reason, because this person was juggling you and someone else to a pentacle. So you blocked them. They were disloyal. It felt like they would want to be in a commitment, but this person was still juggling you. So you have, like I feel, Jupiter's bringing in a turning point. There will be a test, a choice that you'll need to make, Aquarius, for sure. Somebody wants to come back around a second chance with you. But like I feel, there was karma here. There was lessons learned. A deep spiritual awakening is on its way. Somebody learned a very big karmic lesson, right? Moon. And it was all hidden underneath the moon, right? Secret, secret loves that they have, right? What's the Hierophant, Venus and Taurus? Somebody here has, like I feel, very strong beliefs. Somebody here uh, believes in tradition that's coming towards you. They want... They're very committed. They're very old school. Like I just said, very old school Virgo energy. Somebody is very wise. It could be Taurus or Virgo. They're not talking. This is someone that is, could be giving you the silent treatment. Uh, this is someone who, like I said, has spiritual guidance. They're receiving it. They are soul searching. This hermit won't say anything, but they're thinking about you. For sure. They feel this commitment to you. They feel like, like, like I feel like old school emperor for sure. Father figure could be here, right? This could be like daddy's coming back home. So an emperor. Remember when I was feeling this energy, someone here has a very strong belief. They don't say much, right? But they're controlling, okay? You have children with this person. For some of you, grandchildren are here. This hermit is someone who's very quiet, who doesn't say much. Oh, but they're taking control, okay? Because there's Ten of Pentacles right next to it. Devil energy, right? Somebody here is controlling the money, the wealth of the family, right? Four of Swords. They're keeping quiet about it right now. This is somebody here, Four of Swords, air energy, uh, trying to recuperate, trying to relax, timing out of the situation so someone's on a time out from you that you're married to or in a commitment or a relationship that's what it feels like there's a break here or a time out from somebody that you're married to there is a financial dynasty here with that person is what i'm saying okay it could feel like on your end there was something that you did aquarius right with the knight of wands and this king of wands with the king of swords and you took a chance. Let's see you with the full card. What's the full card for Aquarius? And you're feeling it, the sense of star card right next to it. Yeah. You took a leap of faith because you believed in this sense of taking something you wished for came in. This was a wish that you went in. 
for? You were hoping for somebody. Yeah, eight of wands. So you traveled, you went for it, you picked up the phone, you took charge, you made you made a phone call, you took action on your dreams or someone you were wishing for. You took that leap of faith. So it feels like, yeah, you did. Let's see why, oh, there it is. Three of wands because you couldn't wait any longer. You wished for this. You you wanted this. You were like, I'm not waiting anymore. I'm taking the leap. I'm going for it. And you did it. You moved out of a crossroads, two of swords. So you had a choice. This could have been between two people. King of wands, king of swords. You turned your back on somebody here. And you took a leap of faith with someone else. One more for this Aquarius. Got double Aquarius. You could definitely be dealing with another Aquarius. Six of Swords. Healing. You're healing and you're moving forward. Absolutely. You're taking a leap of faith. There's a sense of the calm after the storm. A sense of this is where the healing begins. The process. Six of Swords are on top of you. You're clearing your mind now. So you're gaining your inner peace back. You're, you're in a place of peace. You're in a place of aiming for a higher version of yourself. And you did have wish fulfillment here, right? And you couldn't see. There was a lot of choices and confusion. Seven of Cups. A lot of options, like I feel. You have a lot of options in love, Aquarius. But there's, like I feel, there's strength here. You're having a difficulty is what you went through deciding who to choose or what's best for you in love. And you felt the energy of somebody here that was a third party situation for sure, for sure. In between a choice and love. And you were confused. So the strength card's coming in to tell me you're clearing that, that, that confusion. Because let's see the strength card. Leo season is gonna be the season to empower you to take this leap of faith empowering you to take the leap of faith and make the offer go towards love follow your heart because this is where the unexpected love is going to be blossoming you're not waiting anymore you're going for it yeah you've made your mind up the king of swords is somebody who's learned their lesson you did the work page of swords you can see somebody here who for who they are page of swords you like I'm feeling this is the king of swords, page of swords, very mental energy, right? Very confident, independent, getting ready. There's somebody you could have spied on, right? Or you're feeling somebody spying on you. Five of Wands is here, yeah. There was competition here. There was conflict. So you did the work. You you definitely uh, were talking, very talkative, very curious about what all this is. The Five of Wands. So you've had a lot of conflict, a lot of competition, or fighting to be heard with somebody, and feeling like conflict, like the thoughts where somebody wouldn't even let you talk. The minute you opened up your mouth, they'd shut you down. So somebody was trying to shut you down. There was like a tug of war here, okay? You found out about this, this energy. Let's see what this King of Wands is. Yeah, Leo season is your season to move forward. You're breaking out of a tra feeling trapped, eight of swords in your head, right? Feeling stuck in a situation, four of pentacles, where there was resistance. Somebody was selfish with you. Somebody was greedy. Four of pentacles is my miser card. Somebody was trying to trap you, keeping you stuck in a situation. Four of pentacles. Or you could have been holding on very tightly, feeling stuck. And not anymore. You're, you're going towards something that you wish for. See? Feeling stuck. That's the whole thing. The king of wands is to break you out of the crossroads. A choice between two people. For sure. Or feeling like at a crossroads. And here comes the page of cups. Somebody's about to reach out. To communicate. Right? There's fun coming. Exciting times are coming in. King of wands, of course. You're, you're, you're done but whatever this break is for a while where you were feeling a little bit in, stuck and in prison, you're breaking out of that. Yeah. Yeah, Ten of Wands. 
it burdened you. Let's see. There it is. Power. Big change you're making. It will shock everybody. This is a shock. It's like, oh my God, Aquarius, right? Sudden change. That's Mars and Scorpio. For sure, sudden changes are happening. Ace of Swords. This could be within a day. You could be hearing a sudden conversation, a sudden breakthrough. Wow, everyone's getting the tower moment. All the air signs. This is definitely, like I feel, Mars and Scorpio, the universe taking control, bringing in the truth, Ace of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, because a new opportunity is waiting, Page of Pentacles, for you. It's a reward the universe is bringing in, a new opportunity, a reward. Uh, suddenly, unexpected changes, Tower moment. Wow, everyone's getting like a revelation, especially with the Ace of Swords. This is clarity, awareness of something major, uh, the truth. This is the truth coming out, being exposed. So, and it's here twice. The truth will set you free. And oh, did I forget mastering your karmic lesson? There is mastering your karmic lesson, Aquarius, here, for sure. You did the work. And you know that now it's time to clear, like I feel, and move towards your wishes, your dreams. That's what I'm seeing here for you. So let's end it with a romance advice in love for Aquarius from June, July 20th, I'm sorry, to the 31st for July. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Children, for some of you, you have children here with someone. Your love life is being affected by a child or children for some of you. Yeah, there's a connection here. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond will deepen. You are about to meet somebody here. Like I feel that you're taking action towards. You are you could already know this person. This is someone.